Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Every time I start an orgy, I end up in jail. <laughs> Line of the night! <laughs> uh, I'm Stephen Holman. I'm Mike. Matt. Christy. John. Obama here. Steve, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what he wants you to think. <laughs> I have an anti communist shirt. The <laughs> picture of Mark says, This is not Santa. <laughs> Mm. This Fed is really trying hard to get yeah, into our. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I said He's really landed himself. I said this Fed is really trying hard to. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> so alternative legal systems is that the idea? That's what Speaking we're talking about right. tonight. Right. And Speaking of festivals yes, and like yes. how to do things. Now that we're right. halfway into this right. episode. Right. Contradiction terms though. Alternative what? legal. Um, no. no. If it's alternative. Well, alternative to the current legal. Yeah, I system. mean. Uh, well, but legal. What is legal? What is the, What does yeah. that word legal mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I think uh, yeah, that would be interesting, the, the difference between lawful and legal. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, what would be an alternative? I don't know. Well, what, what is legal, though? I mean, to really think about it, what is legal? Is that legal means law? Is that what? Let's get out blacks. Uh, um, oh, oh, so so but legal. So racist. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, right. <laughs> the law dictionary. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's not get off top. Um, well, okay. So, but, but I mean, a legal, sense, le a legal system is just simply a way to solve a dispute. Okay, so, so that's what so, I want to so go legal, to. So legal is not lawful exactly. Legal is not necessarily like. <clears> I mean, you know, I mean, legal is just anything that's a that's a system of. You know, resolving a dispute. Okay, so that's so, yeah. so dispute resolution. Right there. All right, dispute rules resolution. In the society. Uh, well, I think there are rules. agreements. I mean. Okay, so you know, if there is no government, we still need a way to solve problems. Right. And as a matter of fact, a way to solve problems better, right? You know, we have to do it in such a way to where nonviolently. Yeah, non -violently, non -violently right. and and, and the, it works, and it really works. You know that people actually, are actually. It's not just solve problems. It's actually like. To provide a means for restitution and mm -hmm. the redressing grievances. Yeah. Right. So it's a specific type. Right. You know, of in, in the classic sense management. of justice and the scales and making it even. You know, you, you want to you know make the situation whole again. Well, I think that's a good good question to bring up, though. What exactly is the proper role of of an arbitration system? Is do you, do you want or should there be um, built into the system ways of deterring uh, violence and and theft? How do you deter something without violence? Uh, well, actually, I think the absence of the. If you know yeah. this is going to cost you three times as much if you caught. Right, For but I think that just removing uh, the state apparatus which creates artificial scarcity goes a long way towards mitigating uh, crime and violence. Uh, I mean, drastically reduces it. Oh, yeah. We when, when, talked when about it's not, a while. Yeah. Well, it's because not being it's, subsidized well, being, right. well, but also, cr there's only a few things that are really <clears throat> crimes then. You know, like, right. you know. Murder, rape, murder, and rape, and, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like it's not all this, li um, uh, you know, list of things that we're all criminals for. Which which are only there no really victim, just no to crime. generate yeah. money. You yeah, know, it is. To it's keep just, the system it going. It is just you revenue know, generation. It, it's to, to pay the... The, the licensure yeah. and the regulatory yeah. racket yeah. that yeah. comes with it. Yeah. it uh, raises prices yeah. artificially. All that goes away. So let's let's take some the basic things that would still be things that are culturally we would not we'd want restitution for or would want to detour. Mm -hmm. Let's take those and, and figure out, just have a conversation about I don't think we need to focus. Yeah. Personally, I mean, you asked yeah. the question, I don't think deterrence, an active deterrence, <clears throat> and I'm game for the conversation, but I don't even think it, 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 it need one, you know? I think that the, the deterrent is, uh, uh, like we were just just talking about, you know, when you remove all the the regulatory and and licensure racket and the pricing falls, uh, you uh, get rid of uh, fake money. Um, the the purchasing power of each individual unit goes up, and uh, you, all of a sudden you got a, a a world in which you can have two part-time workers providing 
meaningfully for a family. So it, all of a sudden, this need to 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 turn to uh, the, the black market or turn to violence to fix pro uh, to to raise your lot is is gone. I think that's the greatest deterrent. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so, for those instances that people, someone, individuals still uh, pursue violence uh, as a means to get what they want or whatever, that's that's what we need to. Mm -hmm. to Restitution or right, right. or and, how to deal with it, you know. And, and actually, like so, also re when we start t speaking to restitution being to the offended party and not to the state, uh, that also brings the wider community back into the whole process. You know, it's it's kind of like forefront in our it would be forefront in our consciousness. So I would like to think that that would go also be another layer that sort of mitigates or deters. So say that again, because it was a good... Point. So, <clears throat> when, right now, like, uh, the restitution goes to the king, the, right. the, the system, right. you know right. what I mean, right? Yep. Yeah. And sure, there is a civil court system that people can come in and sue yeah. later. Yeah, but then and, they have to sue to get right, to do right. it. Right, right. But if, if actually the basis of <clears throat> uh, a legal system, if you will, if the the foundation of it is restitution, restoring the, the, the wronged party to, to whole again, right. then that is what will be a forefront right. on people's minds. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, right. so everybody Essentially oh. doing away with the criminal justice system. Right. You just have so let's, civil law. So <laughs> let's say somebody murders somebody because they, they didn't, for whatever reason, they kill somebody. Mm -hmm. There's really no restitution because you can't bring somebody back. That's what true. would you do? What if that person keeps doing it because they're insane? Because they're a little l Lulu. Oh, who determines? You know? I don't know. That's why this is the conversation. You know, who deter? I don't want to get killed by him, so I determine it. You know, it's like I see that maybe he killed or she, he or she, killed this other person, and maybe another person, and is continuing to do that. Mm -hmm. You know. So wait, 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 can wait. we use force to stop this person? Well, uh, a... I mean, in a word, yes. I mean, if there's somebody that is, like, actively going around, like, you know, killing people and you catch that person, like, in the act, you know, then, yeah, you have the right to, you know, help the other person defend themselves. Well, defend you know. themselves, but defending is different than not having them do it again you know we know this person, right so you know? we, we kind of spoke to a little bit to that before in uh <clears throat> in i don't know which the podcast was but basically when it came time for uh let's say a molester a rapist a murderer and they're being charged right and if they don't answer to the charges that's stealing their fate, you know what I mean? But let's say we bring them to the table and there's a... Uh, it's like a community table. Right, yeah. and, and, and then uh, they have the opportunity to say, no, they didn't do it, or they in fact did do it. And at that point in time, hopefully we have established a, a, a system that they will voluntarily uh, quarantine themselves from society. And you did, we did bring that up, but it's like, okay, what if they don't? And what if they don't come to the table? If they like, don't, then they're... They don't they're, even come to the table. The, the technology, yeah. the technology is here. I mean, I we have so. we have Amber Alert, right? So, yeah. you know, it, it, it would, that's a system that like, okay, so-and-so is charged of molestation. Right. That's a kiss of death. Right. You know, it really you'll, is. You'll come it in is, and, clean, yeah. and clean it up and, yeah. and, and say, uh, you know, go to this, what we're trying to get to, I guess, is it a, an alternative court system. Uh, if they don't come and 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 answer those charges and prove themselves innocent, then they are then I like to think of the old outlaw system, whereas outlaws you're cast out of the system okay. and no no longer are you afforded protection, right? So then and this comes from Scandinavian uh, Vikings primarily, right? Oh really? This idea, yeah. Oh. yeah. That's where outlawry. You, you oh. live in. You You're live outside in outlawry. the law. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So you weren't protected. So in other words, at that <laughs> point in time, if someone offed you, essentially, in a worst case scenario, right. it's that you you chose that path. Essentially, you cast yourself out. And that and that does apply also to like 
say if like years later something else happened to you and you go, hey, that guy stole my horse or something like that. Let's just use that example. Oh, he stole my horse. So you horse go to thief. you go to the you go to the court or something and say like, hey, a guy stole my horse. Like I need I need you know. I need my restitution for this, and the you know the court will be like, oh, just so happens you're an outlaw, by the way. Do you remember that? Like you still wouldn't be able to, you know. To well, well, like in the Icelandic Commonwealth period, for instance, you had chieftains uh -huh. that would that were I uh, would play the role of judge, but they were uh, non geographical. So if I'm at I, I could I it, it, they were they essentially competed in the market mm -hmm. uh, against each other for business mm -hmm. in in these matters and if you were an outlaw you couldn't you couldn't uh, get a chieftain to to take you as as a client mm -hmm. as a, so you would have no court to bring any charges to yeah and to think now. Technology can even, you know, empower a system like that even, you know, better than ever before. And uh, I was thinking, I think this is something they used to do in, uh, or I mean, it wasn't like really widespread, but it was a system that, to solve disputes because, you know, Old West, like you're not exactly going to have a court nearby or even a sheriff nearby or anybody like that. There were laws, though, still. Yeah, so there were so there was ways of resolving... Anarchistically. Dis yeah, there were, there were ways of resolving dispute, and this one I always thought was kind of interesting. So you had a person that you trusted, and they would be, and, you know, they, you know, in the, man, you know, if there's some sort of, like, legal issue popping up, that person would represent you, your lawyer, essentially, but, you know, a friend of yours. And so the other person in the party had that had also somebody like that that they trusted a lawyer of a sort or whatever, but not really lawyer because you know not same sort of uh, same sort of scenario. But so you know a friend that they trusted, and so both of those two lawyers, if you want to call them that, would get together and agree on a on a third arbiter, and that third arbiter would be the would be the actual judge. And then there, and then there was a jury that be, there. There was a jury that could get picked out, you know. After that, so it was. So you have, you know, both opposing parties getting together to pick, you know, somebody who is not related, and they both agree is fair-minded to then be the judge, and then you know, select a jury or whatever, you know. So I'm confused. How is that different than what we have now? Uh, because there's no, you know, badges and it's not. Guns. It's it's an ad hoc yeah, yeah. kind of <clears throat> judge, right? Yeah. It's somebody. It's it's chosen by whom? By the the so the two opposing parties, their lawyers, pick a judge that okay. they both agree right. to be fair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically a voluntary. Yeah, system. it's a voluntary yeah. system. Yeah. Right? If yeah. People want to opt out. Like they don't want to. Like if I. So I go beat up somebody or uh -huh. kill somebody. Right. And I'm supposed to be prosecuted for it. Mm -hmm. by these. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Like, why? What incentive do I have? Because you may be cast out as an outlaw. So what? That's, it. That's, what? That's your prerogative. Okay. You know? <laughs> well, so. It's better than a punishment. It's basically letting. Well, maybe uh, not. Uh, so, the, so, right. Because I might be, not be able to survive. We, right. That, and we spoke about it many months ago was let's just say <clears throat> make it brief let's just say that the correction system in this in uh in this scenario looked more like a like a hyatt whereas uh you could work not the ritz but a hyatt right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's important <laughs> like it's not going to be a fucking place but it's important you know, distinction yeah that you would consent to going in and then uh, you could work from there and keep a portion of your income. Well, the rest goes to actually maintaining it. The best business, the best hotel is the one that you, you know attracts the most you know, people who uh, are going to go in and get cordoned off from the rest of society because they've been deemed, you know, uh, well, yeah, they're a, a, a menace to society in the respect of like rapist, murderist, you know, those kinds of serious crimes that, that you need to. So what if he what says no? It? What if he says no to that? No, no, well, That's a hell of a lot better than going and... and, the, well, and well, what if the, the other thing, the other thing you could... I think, I think the other... You could also consider maybe... Uh, 
ha- having more of a conversation between the people, the person who has been charged with it, and people who are convinced that they did it, um, about how they're going, how you're going to make it whole, how you're going to resolve the restore, situation. Right. The restore they don't just do that small. now. Like, yeah, yeah. there's actually that's growing. It, is it really? Is, is if I understood Matt correctly, yes, it's called restorative justice. I think it's strongest mm-hmm. in New Zealand and maybe Australia, but even there's some pilot programs here in California. Mm where they try to identify good candidates for a restorative justice model, and it's generally young people. And so the idea is they bring in the offended party, the, the perpetrator, and the community. It's actually, it's important, wow. right? So yeah. the community actually, yeah. uh, uh, members from the community are essentially owning up to the conditions that have created or, or facilitated like the crime. keeping a blind right, eye, right, you know, right. not, so, you know. So the, yeah, the, the goal right, is to restore, right. you know, make the offended party whole, the victim mm-hmm. whole. It's to get the, vic- the perpetrator back on a proper path, right. you know, yeah. and bring in the community, say, right. hey, this is right. community policing, right. community oh. justice, if you will. That's whatever. cool. That's actually So that, that's yeah. called restorative justice. Okay. And... Uh, there's quite a bit online about it, and it's actually growing. That's that's really cool. That's great to hear. <clears throat> and I was kind of thinking something uh, along that lines, like when it comes to like uh, what I was talking about, like the jury, right? So the jury is obviously not, you know, shackled in a sense to the way how it works now. Is that when they say guilty, there is a mandatory minimum sentence. They have to do this. They have to do this. They have all you know these certain things that you know that are out of their control. Currently, right. yeah, they're currently yeah. out of their control. But so if there's a system like that, the jury says, well, okay, you're guilty. The jury can also be a part of the like the, the sentencing process, Figuring like out you know, and actually you know, and, and because it's not like you know, isolated, and the jury is you know, uh, you know, they're not to be part of it once they've said guilty, and you know. You or, keep you keep saying jury. What do you mean by jury? Uh, they, you know, I I still. Do you I, mean that we send out letters to people in the no, mail saying that you're a slave for this? No, no, no. I mean, no, that the no, lawyer, I mean, the two Walter, lawyers picked the yeah, jury. Yeah, the well, the, I was. Yeah, he said he said pick the judge. Pick the judge, but then you know I think in a you know uh, for it all to be fair, it still makes sense to me that like the the judge and the two lawyers or the two arbiters, you know, pick a jury, which I mean. Okay, they're probably going to get paid, so and probably more than they do now. So you could just go in the community and be like, "Hey, do you want to be a jury on this? You know, we're going to pay you. Are you're not related to the parties, you know, in question? As long as you, you know, as long as that fills out, then you know." How is this different than what we have now? Because if I don't want to participate in being in court, mm-hmm. I become a fugitive and run for the border, so to speak, mm-hmm. and I'm cast out. I'm an outlaw. Just, mm-hmm. or I'm hiding then you the do. Law. Then you do. Then so you're no the longer. Thing. But is, how is it different than what we have now? I don't see any differences. Well, there's, I mean, I think it's important first to say there's no such thing as perfection, right? But we're talking about, I guess we didn't even mention it, but this is an assumption that the state doesn't exist. Right. And how can we uh, have a system of justice, a justice system, if you will, in the absence of the state? Yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, so. Is Which assumes you're guilty. I, I, Does that become the state? No, I think historically we can look there has been, uh, even like in uh, uh, the young England, you know, uh, the uh, legal system was essentially at the, the village level. As long as you gave the king his tax pieces, his, his change, and as long as you didn't say fuck off king, the, the, you know, the, the, the crown had little, little... Say in little say in what, right. the, what yeah. you did, right? Yeah, right. exactly, yeah. right. So that's a local yeah. lord or yeah. you know village, you know whatever. So, uh, so could you have? Could this be something that you basically opt into, and you don't? Um, like, if somebody chooses not to participate in it, it it, it would be shared with people who are in this system, and they, they you could be able to go in and look at exactly what was done, and hey, they disagreed because of this, and. You, you might you could decide based based on that. Right. Hey, yeah, I I I don't want to do business with them or I don't want to do right. whatever. But and first, I mean, like also, let's think that to me, murder, rape, assault, or murder, rape, and theft. Fraud, and, I guess, is a form of theft too. Yeah, right. I mean, so there there, there are some of those that 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 um yeah aren't as big as big 
as the others, but uh, I think that you'd have like Amber Alert, this whole system that, that hey, so-and-so has been charged with this and he didn't answer these charges or he ran. I mean, yeah. So people gonna, would be more responsible for right. who they deal with, who have it around them. But, yeah. but that's the whole nature yeah. of it all is, this, right? Is. Caveat, caveat emptor, right? Yeah. Freedom isn't, yeah. we don't or really, yeah. the, what we mean by freedom isn't free is it's hard work. It's hard, it to, is hard to, work, yeah. You know, to, to be yeah. free and to want yeah. to live in a free world, right. it actually requires more from the, yeah. from the general populace. Yeah. And, yeah. That's, yeah. And, I, and I think that these sort of conversations are really important because we're, you know, we, we've been taught, this is, you know, uh, since we are, you know, pretty small, like this is the way it works, this is the way this has always worked, you know. And so, th you know, that creates like, you know, a little bit of a mind exercise you have to do to see like, hey, well, how could we do it without the way it is now? Right. And I mean, it's, it's difficult, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, it's, you well, know. I it, it, it's a critical it's, exercise. The, yeah, the conversation important. that I have, and I'm, I, I had recently, and it had to do with oh, this is a booger. Sorry, gross. <laughs> was it gross? It's just a booger. Put it, it's put it on the fire. Yeah, just put, put no, it, but it was a, like a boogie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, it had to do with. Let's talk more about Christie's <laughs> bodily functions. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't go into the shower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> going there. Um, no, it had to do with um, that this is hard. Going to this way of life is harder. It's, mm -hmm. um, yeah. It requires a lot of work, you know, and people are used to their luxuries, you know. And can we still have a luxury type of life in, an, in the kind of world, the kind of world that we look at? Can we still have them? Well, or does that require a state? Does it require that accumulation well, of wealth? And I don't think. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think know. So. It, well, it's harder. It's what harder. Kind of luxuries, for example? Um, a house a and or? lights and a technology Why and computers and Life no, 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 no. Um, I'm a citizen. The government doesn't create it. No, I don't. I didn't. They just they, No, they but the government a does a steal a lot of money, and so it's when you when they steal a lot of money. They concentrate it, and they can do certain things with it. They give it to businesses who create things for us, and we are the we get some of that. But I mean, a lot of that wealth goes to things that we. Get. I would think we'd have a lot less designs out there. Like the bad stuff just wouldn't be out there. Yeah, that's I'm right. This, yes. So the the, yes. the the most sound designs, right. the best right. would be more people knocking it off, and the best business yeah. models would prevail. And that would be a much more dynamic yeah. market because they're not protected, but uh, and the consumers would win out because it's the, it, it, the the whole basis of the market is it's the best thing to get the products to the people at the cheapest, right? But, yeah. So I guess that would probably entail uh, like robots too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cheap robots. If we only had robots to do everything for us. Well, we will we have, have we we talk, will right? have robots doing everything for us eventually. Well, I mean, and we and but that's a good thing. Yeah. It's a really good like thing. Like being in showers. Like they, if we can <laughs> yeah. have them at um, Freedom Fest. We can have them at um, waterproof. Jackalope. Wa waterproof. Yeah, the, the sex ja robots the definitely do have to be waterproof. Oh. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. Well, every we time could, we could do yeah. it at Jackalope. We could do robot, <laughs> robot sex and yes, jazz. Yes, and we could have. Hey, it's all right. Oh, you're talking about <laughs> yeah, robot sex. It's going to cost some money. Oh, oh, so. I saw robots on the internet today that were jumping over like hurdles. Oh, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. The yeah. cheetah project. Yeah. Funded by DARPA. Yeah, the new DARPA right. robot. Yeah. You mean the thing that's going to hunt us yes. down? Yes. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can jump over our dead bodies after it cheats us. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> horrible. Oh, sex robot. Hey, we're out of time. Jackalope. Robot sex. Yes. Peace. <laughs> 29th August, sir. <laughs> <laughs>